Purdue University recently posted a list of symptoms for Ebola and tips on how to prevent contracting the disease. But is this list of symptoms too ambiguous? Are Purdue students even scared about contracting Ebola? And is the panic that this list and other media sources might be inciting worse than the disease itself? Let's see what Purdue has to say. So I'm going to be reading the list of symptoms from Purdue's website, asking people what disease they think these symptoms are indicative of. The symptoms are fever, severe headache, muscle pain, weakness, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and unexplained bleeding or bruising. Probably the flu. A lot of sickness could go along with that. Um, I don't know, Ebola. Flu? Some kind of um, digestive uh, virus infection. I mean, I don't, I don't know too much about disease, but just based on that and the fact that everybody's talking about Ebola, I would have to say Ebola. The bleeding or bruising part is confusing to me. Otherwise, I would have said something like the flu. You know, first thought in my head is uh, the West Nile virus. Um, I don't believe that's Ebola, but it could be. You shouldn't self-diagnose if you have symptoms you should go and see a healthcare worker and have them do the diagnosis do you think that you're at risk of contracting ebola here uh not really um i feel like america has great medical advances and that um we have the capacity to handle a disease like that um i don't think it's something we should be worried about on this campus but other parts of the country might worry about it on the coast no not at all i don't there are only two people in the u.s with it so um, I don't believe they have it contained as well as I could. So the chance of any individual American getting Ebola, it doesn't matter where they're living, is practically zero. Do, do you think that the disease of Ebola or the panic surrounding it is worse? Probably the panic because everyone's more afraid of it than is actually necessary. Um, well, I think the disease itself is pretty bad because yeah. it's um, pretty high death rate. Um, the disease itself, obviously, I think. Panic, definitely. Definitely, that's making everything worse. It's making people think, oh, I have a fever, I have Ebola. Um, I think the disease is pretty bad when you have it, but in the United States, I think the panic is worse. It's not that common here. Um, I think the panic, because they're kind of, I mean, a lot of our community, I feel like, is making it into a joke. I think it's the, the actual disease is worse. Definitely the panic surrounding it. Yeah. So. It's gotten a little ridiculous. If it spreads more, then I mean, it's going to become more harmful, obviously. I think in general, the level of panic in the United States isn't that high. I think people are saying that it's higher than it actually is. If there is true panic, it will be worse than the disease. There's no question that in the United States, any potential panic is going to be worse from the economic perspective, from the sociological perspective, uh, than the actual disease present here. I'm Matt Goldstein, the man behind the scenes is Zach Riddle, and those are Purdue's Views.